Last year, I quit my job at Notion where I was an early employee for the last four years. Entering into the sabbatical, I obviously expected my life to look really different. But what I wasn't expecting were all the changes I experienced internally. In this video, I wanted to share the principles that I've adopted since quitting my job and how it's fundamentally changing the way I live and make decisions. So the first principle is alignment first, direction second. Here was my mindset before and after adopting this principle. Before, everything is going according to plan, but something feels off. After, everything is uncertain, but I feel at ease. A perpetuating question in my 20s was, what's next? And no matter where I was in life, that question was just always kind of floating in the back of my head. I remember after I quit my job, I walked into psych labs, got my coffee and piece of paper and started writing down all of the goals that I had for my sabbatical. Something just wasn't resonating. I looked over all of the goals that I've written and I realized that all of these were more I shoulds versus I wants. Rather than these arbitrary goals, what I really wanted was alignment. Are my actions and behavior an honest reflection of the person that I say I want to be and the things I say I want to do? In other words, why did I even take the sabbatical in the first place? Later on, a lot of just like random things started falling on my lap, whether it was, you know, consulting opportunities from startups or interview requests from top companies, all very compelling and wonderful things that I would want. But I said no because it just didn't align with my intention of why I even set foot on this path. Mark Manson talks about this in one of his videos and I'll play it really quick. Number eight, if you're not turning down things that excite you, then you're not focused enough on something that matters. Our world is overflowing with stimulation and opportunity. If you aren't struggling to turn down options, then you haven't correctly prioritized what matters to you. So the takeaway for me is that alignment allowed me to ruthlessly prioritize for the main important thing. Sometimes that means saying no to things that I otherwise might have wanted. Number two, feeling motivation from within. Here was my mindset before and after I applied this principle. Before, expectation is my fuel. After, curiosity is my fuel. One of the biggest things that changed for me after I quit my job was I no longer had external pressures, a boss, a team to manage, stakeholders to wrangle, OKRs to hit, performance reviews that graded how I did on all of those things. Instead, I had different pressures and it was time and money. And as you can imagine, as these pressures changed, so did my motivations. It went from, you know, I really need to do this thing for X because it's hitting Y milestone deadline and this affects Z, OKR, blah, blah, blah. To what gives me energy? What am I curious about? What are the commitments that I want to uphold? And I'm not saying that you can't hold both of these kind of motivations at once, but for me, I just didn't have the bandwidth to do that. And it was only when I had this newfound mind space after leaving my job that I was really able to assess what gives me energy versus what doesn't and using my intuition as almost like a guide on what I should pursue versus not. My therapist said something that really resonated with me and she said whatever makes that inner fire within you a little brighter is worth pursuing whether or not that leads you somewhere actively choosing not to worry. Here was my mindset before and after I adopted this principle. Before, so many things are out of my control, so I need to be prepared. After, there's no point in worrying about things that may never happen. When I came into the sabbatical to make a career change, obviously I was expecting ambiguity, but God damn, it's a lot of ambiguity. <laughs> in the beginning, I was just super overwhelmed. Thankfully, I was an early employee at startups for years now, so I was kind of bred for it, but it just took me a while to acclimate. But what really helped was realizing like, okay, number one, I deliberately put myself into this situation. And number two, I really want to enjoy this process. I want to have fun. And what's going to allow me to enjoy and have fun is to let go of worrying about things that are just out of my control. For the majority of my 20s, I battled a lot of like unknowns that would keep me up at night. Unknowns were related to my family situation. These were the kind of unknowns that I knew I probably wouldn't get any clarity on five to 10 years out. But funnily enough, 
last month, all of those unknowns became knowns. Just seeing everything unfold so unexpectedly just really made me realize that there is truly no point on worrying about something that may or may not happen. And even if those things do happen, it's just not worth robbing the present moment. After reflecting on all of this, I think my takeaway is that change is really good. And sometimes you just need to shake up your life like it's a fucking snow globe in order to see new perspectives. You know, not long ago, I was wrestling with should I quit my job and make this career change and do something I've always wanted to do? But I was so scared. And now looking back, it's so painfully obvious to me that, you know, the first step is always the hardest. Wherever you're at in life, maybe you're looking to make a change, whether that's big or small in your career or not in your career. I just want to let you know that you're not alone and this bears repeating, so I'll say it again. The first step is always the hardest. And obviously I'm still in the thick of it, so thank you for being a witness in my journey as always, and I will see you in the next one.